cancer was the last thing 76-year-old Jim Ford was worried about. Were you in pretty good health? Very good health, yeah. I didn't take any pills. I played golf once or twice a week. Enjoying life? Enjoying life. Through Sutter Health in California, he volunteered to be part of a study on a blood test that can screen for more than 50 cancers. He was shocked when the results came back positive. Then his physician ordered scans and found stage 2 cancer in his pancreas. I'm well aware of the fact that pancreatic cancer is known as being very deadly. You, know, you think of Patrick Swayze, Alex Trebek, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, they all had pancreatic cancer. Jim and his wife were devastated. She literally collapsed on the living room floor and sobbed. Because we were, we were both thinking it was a death sentence. But that test probably saved his life because the cancer was found early. I think it's the new front in the war on cancer. This is where the processing begins. So Dr. Josh Hoffman is president and chief medical officer for Grail, a Silicon Valley biotech startup that created the gallery test. We know that early cancer detection is the best chance that we have to really bend the mortality curve on cancer. And most cancer deaths are happening in cancers that we're not screening for at all. Nobody's so finding them. That's exactly right. Only five major cancers have screening tools, like mammograms or colonoscopies. 71% of cancer deaths are caused by other cancers. We're losing almost 2,000 of our loved ones every day, and it's because we're finding most cancer too late. Gallery looks at blood for DNA shed by cancer tumors. If it sees that DNA, then it predicts where the cancer is. So if it says cancer signal detected, predicted location, ovary, the doctor will know to do an imaging test of the pelvis. In an ideal world, who should be taking this test and how often? So in an ideal world, any adult who's at elevated risk for cancer should be taking this test annually. Offman says that means anyone over age 50 and those who have other risk factors, like a history of smoking. People might doubt the technology, right? Hear this and think, really? A blood test? They have extensively validated the test They've focused on transparency and publishing all of their findings. And uh, it's just been a very scientific and methodical approach. The gallery test is available now by prescription, but is not covered by insurance. Cost to the patient, $950. A positive result is not always right. Up to half will turn out not to be cancer. But researchers at the National Cancer Institute say the results so far could potentially revolutionize cancer screening, and they're designing bigger studies. So are health officials in England, who are recruiting 140,000 volunteers to do their own clinical trial over the next three years. After surgery, chemo, and radiation... How are you? Good, oh, so good to see you. Jim's surgical oncologist says his latest scan looks great. To catch it at stage two is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, it's like um, winning the lottery. This um, opportunity to be a part of this study really changed the course of his life and hoping it'll do that for others. Yeah, yeah. I feel blessed. I feel like the luckiest man alive, really. And I'm back playing golf. <laughs> Jim is hoping his story might save others. He recently got to hold his new granddaughter. She's the most beautiful little thing, and I was able to go back and see her. It meant a lot. Those are happy tears, right? Yeah, very much so. Kate Snow, NBC News, Menlo Park, California. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.